It is Wednesday, it is noon, and you are tuned in live to Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live, presented by your friends at Elite Realty Group. As you can see, I am all alone today. My co-host is, who knows where my co-host is. It's 12 o'clock and he's not here. That's all I can say. So I went on the rebel mode today, no tie. When he's not here, no tie. But we're glad that you tuned in today, Wednesday, January the 3rd, 2018. First show of 2018. And I, I almost said we, I'm glad that you are a part of this show today. But this is what I will tell you, letting you in on it. By the way, you know what to be doing. Like, share, and invite. Since my co-host isn't here, we've got to have today the biggest show that we've ever had in the history of Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live. So I need your help to do that. We've got to blow this thing up today. Like, shares, and invites is a good thing for me. Now, a couple things, couple announcements here to get you going before we just get our sound check, so on and so forth. Couple of announcements for you. Got a poll question today, and it's a great one too. You're gonna have more fun that participating in this poll question than anyone that we've ever did. So stay tuned for that. That's gonna be on the show today. And could I have a new co-host? Could there be a new co-host right here in this seat when we get back after we do the opening? You will have to stay tuned to find out. Like, share, and invite. It's January the 3rd. It's 2018, and it's noon. It's time to have a party. Let's get this thing started. We will be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you are looking live inside the studios at Elite Realty Group and you are watching Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group. I'm your host, Mike Elkins, and this is the newest co-host on Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group, none other than the one, the only, the legend, the realtor the, of all realtors, Miss Norma Jean Elkins. Welcome to the show, ma'am. I am so happy to be here. <laughs> you have just flat out taking the seat. That's all we're going to say. Hey, the seat? Is the it seat. the hot seat? This is the hot seat. Okay. This is the hot seat. The hot and seat. you are in the hot seat today. And again, we're glad that you are sitting in that hot seat today. We've got a big show for you. Her first show. So again, lots of fun going to be happening on today. A lot of good things that's happening. Remember, we talk real estate. We talk motivation. So we have brought you in today for that's potentially right. the motivational speech. Oops. Do you think you could pull one out? I think I can. You could just pull it out a hat, impromptu, just am, go with it. I'm ready. I'm we may ready. just bring you in and do that here. I think I little. take after two good ones here. <laughs> I don't know about that. So we got everything wrote down. So we cheat, you know, okay. we do what we got to do. But again, we talk real estate, we do motivation, we have giveaways, we've got poll questions, all kinds of fun. We're going to have it today. It is, can you believe, it is 2018. I'm glad to be here. Well, 2018 <laughs> has been good to you so far. We're only three it days in. It certainly has. It certainly has. So what did you do for the new year? Well, for the new year, I got a new career here in the What's last that? little bit. Oh yeah, you took the seat. Uh, well, I took the seat, <laughs> but I've also took the role of nursing. What, what do you mean? Well, tell us more. I have been doing nursing for the last week. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know Back what you're to talking about. That's my better half. Right. So I can tell you right now that I can see why I was not cut out to be a nurse. Because you don't like to do that. No. Then. No, no, so no. what she's trying to say is, is dad has been laying in the bed sick since Saturday. Since right? Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. So she's been having to play the role of a nurse, and that's not happening. Too that's right. not me. No, don't like that too no. good. 
So anyway, that's what you've been doing. I haven't, I haven't done nothing. You know, everybody around here is sick. They're sick. I went to church on Sunday, and like we got back home as soon as we could, and we've not like been out of the house because sickness is going crazy around here. It is. It is. The doctors are running over. The hospitals are running over. So again, I know some of you are watching today. You're feeling a little under the weather, and you know, uh, we wish that you would feel a whole lot better. Go get you some medicine if you can. If not. Hunker down and wait it out. That's wait about out. all you can do, wait right? Wait it out. That's right. But it is 2018. First show of 2018. Yes. Episode number 20 on this show. Ooh, 20. And the co-host that wanted to have a party, he's not even here to celebrate. So we're going to celebrate with you today. What do you think about that? Hey, I, I am ready. I'm always ready for a party. Anytime there's a party, you are ready for that. That's so right. here's what. Can you believe that it's really 2018? Nope, like, not you know, really. Can you believe that? When you really stop and think about it, it's 2018. Nope. When I was th- when I was planning and thinking about this show here earlier today, I remember when I remember 1999. Okay, one a couple things happened in 1999. One, I got married that year. Yes. But me and Nicole we bought our first house. And do you remember, like, everybody thought, like, everything was going to crash oh, yes. in 2000. I thought the world was coming yes. to an end. And, every, you know, all these people, they'd stocked up on water and supplies and all this good stuff. And it didn't happen, of it course. It didn't happen. We're but, here. But I remember that. And I was just thinking, they thought it was going to go bad in 2000. And now we're in 2018. And we're still chugging right along. Here. We're still right. chugging right along. So again, Happy New Year to all of you, our viewers that take your time each and every week and watch this show. Again, the first show of the new year. Good show today. Poll question. We've got a poll question today that we want you to participate in. And the more participation that you put into this, the better it's going to be. As you can see, I have a new co-host here. So here's our poll question today that we want you to weigh in on, all right? We want you to weigh in on. Where, since it's noon, it's episode 20, it's January the 3rd, and we're supposed to have a big party today. Yes, here's the are. poll question. Where is Dave Elkins? That's a good question. Where is Dave Elkins? That's that what we're asking a today. good question. We want to know what these people think. That's right. We want to know what you all think today is where's Dave? Where is Dave Elkins? He was supposed to have been here for the show at noon, and guess what? And he's, he's not here. He's not here. And I'm taking his seat. I have to say that. I'm glad that you took his seat well, today. I've even went rebellious today. No tie. No, no tie. tie. You notice no that? Tie. No tie. Dave, I did this one time on the show, and Dave got really upset with me about the no tie thing. He did. But no tie today. No tie since Dave's here. The poll question. We want you to weigh in on the poll question today. Where's Dave? Where's Dave Elkins? Put your answer in the box. We want to see what you guys think about where that this cat's at today. It's noon. He could be. I don't know. I don't know where he's at. But he could be watching. He could, could be watching. Be, if you're out there in internet land, identify <laughs> yourself. You better tell us where you're Charlotte at. says he's at the gym. Ooh. You know, we talked a few weeks ago about how New Year, all this good stuff's going to go on. And we're going to lose weight. Charlotte, I was at the gym this morning. 7.30, but you beat me there, right? Oh, yeah. What time was you there? Well, I usually get there around 5.30 to 6. 5.30 to 6. She was there. I was there at 7.30. Here's the million-dollar question. Where's Dave Elkins? That's right. Where's Dave Elkins? That's our poll question today. We want you to put your answer in the box where, and you can guess as many times as you want to. Is he watching? Is he in the office? Is he in the world? Where in the world is he at? Where's Dave Elkins? That's our poll question today that we want you to participate in. Last thing, we got a great show today, by the way. A lot of good information coming. Yes. A lot of good information coming today from none other than Norma J. Elkins herself going to be weighing in on some of the real estate talk that we do today. But just a quick reminder, Monday, Monday. January the 8th, 9 a.m. We're going to three shows a week. That's awesome. Don't forget that. That is Don't awesome. forget that. We need you Monday morning. We need you today. Stay today and play, of course. Got a lot of good information. Home of the week coming up. Area happenings. New co-host. Poll question. Where's Dave Elkins? Play that game with us today. But January the 8th, 9 a.m. 
Monday morning, we're going to three shows a week. We got a lot of cool new stuff yes, that I've not filled you in on yet, by the Ooh, way. Okay. But a lot of cool new stuff that's going to be happening starting Monday on our new show. So you will want to be a part of those shows that are going in. So uh, Elite Realty Group, Nicole's in here. They, or Dad says at home, by the way, hi, Dad. Hope you feel better. He may be with Randy in L.A. Is that like Los Angeles, California? Hey, that is L.A. Or, is what you say? <laughs> uh, well, I, might, might, hey, uh, I know where Randy is. He's with Randy in L.A. Hey, That's what Dad's put there. He better not be because... Uh, if we get wind of that, somebody. Karen Early says he's somewhere eating. I love it. He's somewhere eating. <laughs> I love that, right. Karen. Yes. That's good. So Dave Elkins has wrote on here. Where is he? Okay. Dave Elkins has commented on the timeline. Where is he? That's our poll question today. We're trying to find out where's Dave Elkins. So that's our poll question today. I you will guys. say this. Whenever I did talk to him the last time. He said he wanted to be somewhere warm. Hmm, somewhere warm. Yes. Well, there's your hint, folks. There's your hint. Weigh in on it. Poll question today. Where is Dave Elkins? Charlotte says Norman knows where her baby boy is. I don't know because I did have a tracking device, but the battery went dead. <laughs> it's gone now, right? <laughs> yeah, gone. It, it's gone now. So, again, <laughs> cool new segments coming on our new show. Poll question where's Dave Elkins play that today? You're watching, just in case you've tuned in, this is your first time. You're watching Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live, presented by Elite Realty Group. I'm your host, Mike Elkins. This is my co-host, Norma Jean, the jumping machine, Elkins. We're glad that she is here on the show with us today. We're going to take a quick commercial break. Let's take a commercial break. We're going to come back, and here's what we're going to talk about today. Good information today. Getting some good insight from the Elite Realty Group. Group Agent okay. of the Year in 2017, by the way. We're getting some good insight from her. We're going to talk about three big things that home buyers look for when they're buying a home. Yes. Three big things that they look at, look for when they're buying a home. That's what we're talking about today on Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live, presented by Elite Realty Group. We could not do this without you. Thank you guys for tuning in. Play the poll question with us today. Where is Dave Elkins? Dave, call me, call me. <laughs> <laughs> like share and invite to our video today we're going to take a quick commercial break and we will be right back with more of lakeway area real estate talk live presented by elite realty group right after this call short me, break Dave. call me Dave. Welcome you back. It is Wednesday, January the 3rd, 2018. This is episode number 20. Number 20. Can you believe we've done this for well, 20 weeks in a row? Well, it's pies quick. I yeah, it, and we're having a blast too, we're by the way. Doing it. You're about to get addicted. You're yeah. about to have the addiction hit you. Episode 20, Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live, presented by Elite Realty Group. So I got a feel in here. I'm scrolling through the comments. What my co-host normally does, I'm scrolling through the comments here, and Charlotte says, uh, Randy must be in California, by the way, all right? So, Christy says that I get in trouble. Dave's disappointed, he writes on here, because I didn't, I don't have a tie on. <laughs> well, I ain't got a tie on, because you ain't even here. You're not even here with us today, so I ain't got a tie on. And Christy, I didn't get in trouble when you the boss. 
you don't get in trouble, right? You're, you don't get in trouble. <laughs> yeah. So there we go right there on that. So Dave just likes to be mad. He likes to try to keep us under control, and we're rebels without a cause right here today. So you're watching Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live. I'm Mike Elkins, my co-host, Norma J. Elkins. Let's talk some real estate. Okay. Let's talk some real estate today. We're going to talk about today some good information for you, especially if you or somebody you know, if you're selling a house, that's your first water drink on live TV right that's there. That's live. Just like Dave. Same thing. <laughs> Drinks it right on there. Dave, <laughs> yeah, look at her. She's got her cup. Dave's got his. Yours is a little bit bigger than Dave's. That's right. probably hold more water. So here's what we're going to talk about. Three big things. Let's, let's get this going here. Three big things that home buyers are looking for when they are looking for a new home. Okay. okay, we're going to talk about those three things today. Now, here's what we know. Again, we've told you this for 20 weeks right now. If you're selling a house, now's a good time to be doing that. It's right? the time. It, it is, is a time. great time to be doing that. But there are some things that sometimes are a little bit more important than other things. Yes, they are. That people, home buyers, people that are potential home buyers for your house, they're going to look at. We're going to give you those three big things today. Not necessarily that they're big in size, but it is big it's when it big. comes to getting your house sold, getting the marketing done, getting the pictures done. These are some big things. So let's talk about number one. Three big things home buyers are looking for in their new home. Here's number one, and let's mean you talk about this okay. and we'll give this out. You may want to write this down if you or somebody you know may be selling a house here in the near future, but here's number one. Curb appeal. Curb appeal. When Absolutely. you're looking at one of the big things we find buyers tell us, home sellers tell us, when you look at one of the things that people look at when they're going to buy a home is the curb appeal. Meaning, when they pull up to the house, That's right. what does it look like? Right. Well, if it don't look right on the outside, I've always heard the comment, if it's not right on the outside, what's it going to look like on the inside? Yeah, it scares off a whole lot it of does. people. It yeah. really does scare off a whole lot of people because remember, they're pulling up to your house and they're making judgments the whole time they're coming in. That you know, was. whether that be a subdivision out in the country, up the dirt road, around a steep curve, which I know that you can't control. That's right. But again, they're looking at those things and saying, hey, am I going to make the decision to buy this house off that? Now, if the surroundings around you aren't good, which again, you can't help, you better make sure everything at your house is good. good. Right? That's you better right. make sure, even if you've got good surroundings, that you've got great curb appeal. Have you, let's, let's go with this, have you ever took some people out showing them houses pulled up to the house, and they never got out of the car because of the curb appeal. That, uh, honestly, is sad to say, but it's true. Right. I've pulled up in the driveway, and they have looked and mm, don't know that we want to get out. And I hate that for the seller. Sure. Because usually we've always scheduled With the an feedback. appointment. Yeah, we've already scheduled an appointment. Sometimes the sellers, if they live there, they've left. Right. And then to say, you know, you're not even going to get out. But... Sad to say, it's true, because yeah. if the outside don't look right, a lot of people will never go through the door. That's true. So, again, that's one of the big things. Remember, they're pulling up thinking, do I want to go in? Mm -hmm. Is this is this inviting? Does this right. look right? Does this feel right? Can I see my kids playing in this yard? Yeah. Is it yeah. safe to let them out in? So on and so forth. So, curb appeal is a big thing. Now, what's some things that, again, you're out showing property a whole lot, a whole lot more than I ever would think about it. But... What are some things that you see that people could do to spruce up that curb appeal? Well, first thing is clean anything that don't need to be on the porch or right. the entryway. Clear it. Get sweep rid it. of it. Sweep it. Sweep it. Uh, blow the leaves away. You know, if you can, get you a flower pot and set right. by the door. Color's good. Yes. Color's uh, good. A lot of times people will just put a, when they put their house on the market, they just kind of spruce up a little bit around the front door. I right. mean, you could paint the front door. Oh, yeah. You could paint that, just make it look fresh. If you do need to touch up anything around the windows, I mean, clean the windows. Clean them. Yeah. <laughs> um, sometimes mine have a lot of cobwebs in it. Right. But clean your windows. Um declutter everything on the front porch right. definitely you know blow the leaves away just make it a little bit appealing for you go out and pull up in your own driveway oh yeah 
a new look. Yeah. And see you, what you see. Yeah, see what you see. Yeah. And if what you see, you think, mm, right. I better get rid of that. You better right. get rid of it. Absolutely. Power washing, uh, trimming the shrubs, putting a little bit of color out. You know, again, set it in a potted right. plant. A little bit of color. You would be surprised at what people tell us was the reasons why they bought the house. That's right. And a lot of times, again, it's this curb appeal. Man, when I pulled into the driveway, I could see myself living in this house. That's right. The well, outside that. sold the inside. That's exactly right. It was right. so easy for that to happen again curb appeal being a big thing and we try our best to let people know how important this is so you know when you're looking at again selling your house whether that be now or in the future now is a great time or you know somebody pass this info along to them because again it is true and you just alluded to it there have been times that you pull in the driveway mm-hmm. and it doesn't even happen. It don't happen. You never get to the inside. And you may have just the most beautiful inside ever was, but they're like, I can't see my kids playing here. That's exactly right. I can't right. see my family. I just can't see it because, again, of these things. So that is a big thing that home buyers look at. And I think that's I think that that's, that, that's way because, again, when they actually arrive at the house, that's the first thing they see. That's right. And what is the old saying? You can never go back and make a first impression. That's exactly the right. And a lot of times, whenever you then have to, as for a realtor standpoint, whenever you do have to call back and tell the other agent that, you know, we actually didn't go in the house and look, the right. call's up. And it could be something that mm-hmm. could have been taken care of. Right. And it just makes you, it kind of hurts you because for the sellers. And like I said, if you just, and as a realtor then, you know, you need to go over that with right. your people and tell them this is what needs to be done. Right. And make them understand that, and I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Absolutely. And again, just good advice. Remember, these are always just our opinions, right? right. These are things we see. We're, we try to bring you each and every week here on this show just good information you know sometimes common sense stuff Absolutely. that you just get wrapped up looking at it and you don't even think about those kind of things but it can have such a big impact on again you getting your house sold or not sold you attracting that buyer or you not attracting that buyer so that's number one curb appeal it's a big thing sweep your porch blow the leaves trim your shrubs set you a potted plant out there clean your front door paint your front door clean the windows those are just a few little things and you know what other than other than buying you a potted plant don't cost you a dollar to do cost that. You that. Take you five minutes, sweep your porch off, and it's a big thing for you to do that. So that's number one, curb appeal. And the number two thing we see that buyers look for in their new home that they're purchasing, and they're in, if you ain't got this, there ain't a whole lot of reason you can do anything about it. You can, but we might get there and we might not. But the number two thing that they look for is space. They're looking for space. Now, let, let's break this down elementary here just for a minute when you look at why people move Mm -hmm. right we got to kind of go back to why do people buy houses right they buy it for a couple of reasons but one of the biggest reasons we see people buy a house is is they need more space they need more space they're moving up they're moving out of a condo out of an apartment maybe they're moving from their first time you know the house that they bought first time house they're moving up or they're moving up from a mid-level house they're moving very rarely it does happen but very rarely do we see people go down in size sometimes they say they want to go down Mm -hmm. but when they start looking well it's like okay i don't know you know so they very seldom they ever go down and you know when you think about it going down in size i couldn't go down in size right now i couldn't i mean i could in square footage like and live there like if I was just talking about living, right? But if I had to downsize and take my stuff with me, <laughs> no, <way. laughs> there's no way. I no mean, way. I, I need a bigger house right now for that, that not to that. live in, but to store my junk. Yep. Most people out there are like that. You know, whatever size house, you fill it up. You just fill, fill it up, it up yep. with your stuff. We won't. I shouldn't call it junk with your stuff. So again, but when people are moving, most of the time they're moving up because they got so much stuff, they need more space. Right. 
Now, let's talk about that just for a minute. Do you see when people, you're taking them out, are they looking at how big the bedrooms are and how big the bathrooms are and the living room? What do they look at? Yeah, actually, uh, just Monday, as a matter of fact, drove to La Follette Shore House. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the folks said, okay, well, I've got to make sure that my bed fits in here. I've got a king-size bed. So they literally were trying to measure the room, walk it off, all that. But the thing about it is, space-wise, I mean, you can't make it any bigger right. than what it is. Right. But a lot of times, if you'll just maybe move some of the stuff that you've got in the house that you're not using that's when we all say you need to maybe declutter a little bit absolutely something like that makes the room look bigger right and i mean counter space looks like man this kitchen's big Mm -hmm. you know if you take everything off the counter except maybe what you absolutely have to have or whatever good information but just you know clear off some stuff and i've actually showed houses before and they'll say how many square feet is that and i'll say it's 1400 and they'll say, man, it looks a lot bigger. Right. And you can make it look bigger. Yeah. And if you don't know how, talk to your realtor. I'm Absolutely. Sure she'll give you some advice. And again, he or she, you got to put that in there, right? He yes. or she will give that information to you. But what, what you got to see is, is again, most of the time people are going to buy your house because of some space. They're looking for that space. We know that they're looking for this. So Dave's talked about this before on the show, you know, just, just tidying up some, as you mentioned, decluttering a little bit, mm-hmm. you know, yep. if you need to, if your closets are running over like mine, mine, go buy some totes, put the, you know, we're in a dead winter, Lord, and ain't it cold outside? Yes, it Man, is. Man, it's cold outside, but we're in a winter right now. Put your summer stuff, put your flip flop, put your shorts. Put your summer clothes, put those short sleeve shirts that you can't even wear right now if you wanted to. Put them in a tote and put them away somewhere. You're going to move, folks. Go ahead and put it in storage. That wouldn't hurt you, right? That That's wouldn't hurt right. you. To do I that. just happen to think, throw this in. Sure. I don't think Dave's decluttered yet. Oh. Because I saw some summer clothes out of Calling him out. And Calling him out. If you keep could the summer, summer clothes could the summer clothes I'm just saying, be anything to do with where he is? I'm trying to connect up where he's at today. We're just in case you just joined us. I got a couple shout outs I gotta give here. But just in case you're just joining us, you're watching Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live with a new co host, Norma Jean Elkins here today, because we don't know where Dave's at. And so we've got a poll question today that we want you to help us to see if you know where Dave's at. Answer the poll question, where's Dave Elkins? That's right. Could you answer, could you, our loyal viewers, could you help us and tell us where is Dave Elkins? So again, a couple things people are saying here. We'll take a quick break on the space thing uh, uh, right now. Dave says he likes, he, we know that he's watching. We know that he's watching, but he says, he's saying right now, he likes the new background, right? He likes the new background. So Dave, you know, you could have been sitting here today, but you've not. Brenda Robinson, Brenda Robinson calls greatest realtors in East Tennessee, have used them two different times. Brenda, huge shout out to you. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the, not only the promotion, but thank you for watching our show today. Again, a lot of things, Dave loves the background change. Uh, Charlotte is wanting Dave to, to give her a private message so she can find out. Uh, so she says she's going to check everyone, fa- everybody's Facebook to see if he gives the clue. <laughs> so again, Charlotte's wanting to know where Dave is. That's a poll question today. Where's Dave Elkins? We've went through the first two, uh, three things we're giving you today about what home buyers look for in their new home. Second drink, by the way, Dave. You're watching that. Second drink right there. So curb appeal is the first one. Space is the second one. Again, do some things in your house, what we're trying to tell you. They're looking to see if they can fit. Yes. All right. If they can't come out of where they are and fit, you're in trouble before you get started. Most of the time, they're not going to buy a place that their family cannot fit. Those are the first two. And the last one, last one today that we see people look for when their home buyers look for in their new home are updates. 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 Yes. Now, I'm not saying you have to have the latest, greatest of whatever kitchen no. cabinets, hardwood floors, no. appliances. That's not what I'm saying. But when you going out showing property, would you agree that updates, updates are kind of a is, big thing? Yeah, it is a big thing. A lot of people, you know, can't do it. Um, I mean, their house is just what it is. But you can yet kind of 
update it, give it a new facelift or whatever. Right. You can you can do a lot of little things. Sometimes people, you know, if they have their appliances, I mean, if you do have uh, different color appliances, maybe at least you could switch them out. Even if you have to buy a used one, put right. it in there. They all look the same color. That kind of makes it look a little bit better. Right. I mean, sometimes even as I've seen people do a countertop, it changes the whole kitchen's yes. look. You don't yes. have to change cabinets right. with the hardware uh, on your cabinets. Yeah. I mean, put new knobs little on them. Just little things that yes. don't cost a lot. And the big things that I will tell you is definitely if you're going to do anything trying to make it look better, right. do it to the kitchen yes. or to the bathroom. There you go. Those yeah. are the two things. Kitchen and bathrooms we see are big time. Absolutely. Big time. But again, they're looking for those updates. Again, we're not talking about just, you know, go take out everything. Throw out the slimy soap dish. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get new stuff that sits around there in that bathroom. You know, go go buy you some polisher and polish your cabinets, whatever, right. just to make it again look like, hey, this ain't as bad. Because what they're doing, they're coming in looking. They're going to make sure it looks good on the outside. They're going to see if they can fit. And the third thing they're going to start looking at is, what am I going to have to come in here and do That's right. before I can actually sleep a night in this house? Yep. If they see a lot of updates, that hurts. I mean, it's just yep. brutally honest, That's right. but it hurts. So again, things that you can do to make your home, again, seem, look, what it is, those are just, again, and, and you don't have to spend a million dollars to do no, it. No, you don't. You don't, you don't have don't. to spend a million dollars to do it. So, again, that's three things. That's some good real estate information today we wanted to give you. We've talked about three things home buyers look for when looking for the new home. Couple shout-outs for people. Sean Markham. Sean Markham says, hi, Norma Jean. Great hello. to see you. Hello. Sean, we thank you for watching today. Justin Trent says, he's asking a question. Dave? Are you showing a home today? Ooh. If Dave's showing a home, Justin, he's playing on Facebook while he's showing a home. So I hope that he's not. But again, I hope he's showing a house. <laughs> yeah. So here's what here's what we say. Here's what we look at. Dave talks about sometimes he gives some he gives some tips, and we were going to say it, but we're not since you're not here. They'll have to read it. Uh, but here's what we're going to say about this right here. We don't know where Dave's at. It's 12 o'clock, episode number 20. We were supposed to be having a party today. It's January the 3rd, first show of 2018. I ain't got no time because I'm rebelling because we don't know where Dave's at. So our poll question today is, is where's Dave Elkins? That's what people are looking at. And you see these answers in the box. That's what people are answering is where, where's Dave Elkins? Charlotte is starting to now talk about Dave, here's what she says. <laughs> I have apple crumb pie and a brownie. She's wanting to that know where Dave's at. Christy's calling her out because she's bribing with food. And Christy's got the flu. Christy, we're sorry you got the flu, but we thank you for tuning in and watching today. So we're going to take our last commercial break. You guys keep looking for Dave. We He's do out know. There. He's out there. <laughs> we do know. He's in this chat box. We he just is. don't know where he's at. That's exactly we just don't right. know where he's at. We're going to take our second commercial and final commercial break. We're going to come back, and Norma Jean's going to give us the Elite Realty Group Home of the Week, the area happenings, and we're going to sign off for today's show. But you guys hold on. Commercial number two coming up. We'll be right back after this break. We thank you for tuning in today. Dave, watching call me. Call me, Dave. Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live. We'll be right back, y'all. Pricing your home correctly in today's real estate market can be a very frustrating task for a homeowner to do. Knowing the house value before you commit all your hard-earned money along with time and energy just makes sense. If you are thinking of selling your home, call one of the agents at Elite Realty Group today to get a free market analysis on your home. We're standing by to help you. 423-307-8566. Again, for a free market analysis on your home, call Elite Realty Group today. 423-307-8566. We look forward to assisting you.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, fans, friends, family, followers, <laughs> faithful people. We appreciate you guys today for tuning in to episode number 20. I can't believe it still. Number 20 of Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group. We've gave you some great information today. Uh, don't forget, we're going to three shows a week next Monday. But the biggest thing that's happening today, and I, I can't help but looking down on this sidebar and see what is going on, is where's Dave? Where's yeah. Dave? That's what everyone is asking today, is where's Dave Elkins? That's our poll question. We want you guys to put those answers in the box. We will, by the way, reveal to you. I have just got a message on my watch and we're going to be telling you here in just a little bit where's Dave Elkins we now know where he is but we want you guys to guess have a little fun looks like you're enjoying yourself in the box by the way answering the question about where's Dave Elkins that's our poll question today but now it's time for the moment that we've all been waiting for it's a t it's time for us to do the elite realty group home of the week. This is one nice home you're going to be looking at. Norman's going to bring that information to you right now. This home of the week is a really nice home that Kim Roberts actually just put on the market. Neighborhood right next to mine. So it's a great area to live in. It is up at 3361 North Wind Drive. And of course that's right here in Morristown out by the lake. So the house is three bedrooms, two baths. It's 1,696 square feet. It sits on one acre, which is awesome. It's in the North Wind subdivision, Russellville School District, which is an awesome area to be in. It's got hardwood floors, beautiful tile. It's got a screened in sun porch. It's got granite countertops in the kitchen beautiful mountain views and so anyhow this house is really nice if you want to schedule a showing make sure that you call kim roberts her number is 423-312-8251 that's kim roberts and she'll be glad to schedule you a showing it's a nice house too super by the way nice, and again great nice. location great very location. preferred school district um so you know it's it's in a very very nice Location. So again, call Kim. She'd be glad to show you that Absolutely. house. Absolutely. It's not been on the market. Has it got how many days no, there? Actually, seven a week. Days. Seven yeah. days. So today. again, the holidays have slowed down probably the showings on this house. Yes. This one will not last. You know somebody wanting that school did you tell the price? I didn't. I'm I like wasn't Dave. paying attention. I'm like yeah. Dave. I forgot to. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. And yeah. it's 1,696 square feet. Nice house. Full basement Full too. basement, yes. So. so good house. So you'll want to take a look at that. You want to see it. Call Kim or call our office today uh, and we'll make sure we get you an appointment for somebody to get you there to view that house. So that is the Elite Realty Group. Home of the week again. That home is located in uh, North Wind Subdivision. Brought to you by Kim Roberts. Call her for your exclusive showing today. Ah, right, what's going on in the area? You got well, the announcements happening. Uh, absolutely. Right? And what I will say is, it's cold outside. Very Everybody cold. Everybody knows that. Very so it's cold. Probably a good time that we don't have a lot of area happenings this week. Right. But we've got something big coming up on Friday night. Okay. That's the east versus the west uh -huh. and morristown the, east morristown versus east. morristown west. yes and yeah. that will start the basketball game yeah basketball varsity mm -hmm. starts at 6 30. that's the girls that's the girls yeah. and the boys starts at eight o'clock eight o'clock so make sure you get down there and watch that it's going to be one good game it's always that's right always that's right uh, just a good game that's this friday night all right and then, if you've got some time and want to run over to the Rose Center that evening, they've got what they call a mystery art exhibit. Mm -hmm. And it's where the artists get together. They're actually doing like a five by seven. And this is really popular here, and everybody loves to go. You can go over there, view them. You don't know whose is whose, and you can actually buy them too that evening. Right. But some awesome paintings. And so that's at the Rose Center, and that's from 5 to 7. 5 to 7 p.m. So you could run over there before you run to the ball game. Absolutely, yeah. So. And again, some good stuff. Uh, 
uh, you know, mystery art exhibit. So hard telling what you'll see there. That's it's right. a mystery, I guess. That's right. right? We got so, some good artists here. Some very good artists. Yeah. So stop by there. It, I, I, I guess it's free. It is. It free is free to the public. It's free. You can go so in again, and look get around. there. But Shop. as you said, it is cold outside, and it it's is. supposed to be cold this week. I think tomorrow night's eight degrees. And that's Friday right. night, six oh, degrees. I know. So you better be getting your long johns on and, like I said, put them summer clothes up. But some yes. people's not put theirs up yet. That's exactly right. And we don't really know why Dave has not put up his summer clothes. Could that be a clue that where he is? Our poll question today. We're wrapping up. Have you had fun? I've had fun. Have you had fun? Can you believe we've been well, on here for 40 minutes, Gavin? Oh. 40 minutes. Well, we're 40 minutes say, deep right we now. We are, yes. That's pretty awesome, though. So, see, you're just good. Hey, you can tell. I was going to say. They're my boys. Yeah, we can talk, right? We can just talk and go away at it. So, again, third drink, this is to third you, Dave. drink on live. Dave, that one's for you, brother. Shout out <laughs> to you. So, our poll question today is we opened the show. We opened the show, and I was by myself because my co host was not here. 12 noon, show number 20. It was time to have a party. And Dave's not here. So we have a poll question today to see if you guys can guess where Dave Elkins. Well, we're going to tell you where Dave Elkins is. He is at home in the bed, sick with what we believe is the flu. Dave, man, we're sorry. We're sorry you had to miss this show today. But I believe that your co host your 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 what is it called your replacement <laughs> your replacement done a good job if you all think that norma jean done a great job and deserves another chance on the show would you all like us and love us right now just i mean just blow up likes and loves and all that good stuff blow it up because again she stepped in last minute notice Dave is sick with the flu. By the way, he's going to the doctor later this afternoon, along with Dad, along with Siobhan. Their whole family's sick. So if you could whisper a prayer out for them, I'm sure that they would appreciate that. And but again, I will be your nurse, Dave, if you need me. <laughs> no, she can't because it's just me and her here right now. Everybody else is sick, so she can't get sick because then it'd just be me. Actually, Nicole's here. Nicole's doing a wonderful job today. Yes, uh, Replying is. to everybody on our feed. We appreciate that. You're doing an awesome job today, Nicole. We thank you for that. But we thank you guys. Thank our viewers, man. Yes. We've had a great crowd today. Lots of wonderful participants participation and we appreciate it we couldn't do this without you guys we appreciate that do not forget monday this thing goes into overdrive Overdrive. it goes in hopefully dave will be back because maybe he, we can party yeah he likes to do this show not that you didn't do a good job but dave loves to do this he show he wanted to come today and i was like uh-uh there ain't no way i'm sitting beside of you and getting that because i hate being sick <laughs> so that wasn't going to happen today but he'll be back probably on monday monday morning at 9 a.m mark it right now go to your phone set you an alarm look at it right now and Monday morning, we start three days a week. Three days a week. And we know that you guys are going to show up and show out. Continue as we get off here today. Like, share, invite people to our videos. Just tune in on Monday. Monday morning, you'll be, we'll be reminding you. Monday morning, we will be reminding you. Nine o'clock, bright and early. Get your coffee and get your popcorn because there's a good show coming and you will want to be a part of it. A lot of new segments and things coming yes. up in the very near future and you will want to be paying attention for that. For my co-host, Norma Jean Elkins. I'm Mike Elkins. You've been watching Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live, presented by Elite Realty Group, show number 20, January the 3rd, 2018. We want to thank each and every one of you for taking your time today, for tuning in again. Blow us up because she did an outstanding yep. job. Until next time, Monday at 9 a.m. in the morning for our first ever Monday edition. We will see you guys next week. God bless you and see you all next week.